So in this session, three important topic, topics are going to be discussed. One is uh, traditional medicine, what are the ethical aspects of traditional medicine. The other one is if there is any way to go for the world regarding uh, reproductive cloning. The most important topic that will be discussed in this session will be another which is re very relevant for bioethics, although most of the people do not think about this when they think about bioethics, which is human vulnerability and personal integrity. Members that are part of UNESCO have in fact voted a, a universal declaration on bioethics and human rights, which means that all of the countries, 193 countries of UNESCO, have agreed that regardless of the differences in culture, religions, politics among them, there are some core principles and in, in, in the moral basis, in ethical basis, that they can agree on. The article number eight on the Declaration of Bioethics and Human Rights is dedicated to respect human vulnerability and uh, personal integrity. That means that we have to take care because every person or community or group of people can be at some point be vulnerable whether for biological reasons, cultural reasons, uh, religious reasons. And in the context of science and technology, we also have to take, to take care of particular vulnerability that can be created there. Because science and technology are in fact there in order to try to prevent this vulnerability, but sometimes they can create even more. For example, not everybody has the same access to healthcare. There is a lot of research doing uh, nowadays internationally where very rich countries or very rich uh, industries go and conduct research in very poor settings, in very poor uh, countries or in rich countries, but poor populations. These people have no access regularly to healthcare. So what they do is they enroll, they enroll these people in research projects and through the research project, they have access to healthcare. So this is one of the situations that has been very much debated. So there is a room for governments there, again, and there is a point to make here for governments to do something against poverty and again, and also to prevent the situation that so many citizens have no proper access to basic healthcare. It is very important to discuss a principle such as vulnerability, human vulnerability and, and the personal integrity today, even if it was agreed to be a part of the Universal Declaration so five, at least five years ago, uh, because these are principles and ethical principles are always there. But particular now they are relevant because as you see, vulnerability is in the heart of bioethics, but it's in the heart of solidarity international solidarity, national solidarity. And now we are moving in, a, and that's why UNESCO is the, un, the unique organization that is dealing with these issues as at a global level. And many of these problems need a global solution as well. So the importance of this meeting is that the governments that are going to be in this room will listen what are the different vulnerabilities that can be associated with science and technology and to start a dialogue and to see what kind of actions they can be taken in, in each country, both na at national level or internationally at a global level, to try to prevent this situation. People, as I was saying, basically when they are thinking on bioethics, they think about euthanasia or cloning or, or issues which are really bioethics or biotechnology, nanotechnology, which are also bioethics. But I think one of the most important aspects of UNESCO is that UNESCO also puts a lot of emphasis on issues of justice as part of bioethics, as it, as it is being conceived by most of the countries.